What's better than using chemistry to create a bath time experience more exciting? Bath bombs have been an upcoming way to take baths and people are loving that it can be a DIY project with your kids. In this video, we will be showing how to make your own homemade bath bomb and see how the different ingredients create chemical reactions. Here's some materials you may need. Half cup of baking soda, fourth cup of citric acid, fourth cup of cornstarch, fourth cup of Epsom salt, three teaspoons of vegetable or castor oil, one tablespoon of water. Food coloring is optional and to your liking. The first step is baking soda, which is half a cup. Then next is citric acid, which is one fourth of a cup. One fourth of citric acid. After that is one fourth of cornstarch. Next, you would need the wet ingredients. You need three teaspoons of vegetable oil. And then you would add one tablespoon of water. And then the food coloring is optional. mix the wet and dry ingredients together slowly. <laughs> and then you would add one fourth of Epsom salt. Combining all of the ingredients together, go ahead and shape it into a bowl or any other shape you desire. And then bam, the ball ends up looking like this. <laughs> Here is the final product. It should look like this after sitting for one day. This is the bath bomb we previously made. Now we are going to test the bath bomb. When the baking soda and citric acid comes together and is put into water, you can see a chemical reaction happening. The reactions produce lots of bubbles or fizz, and the bubble that makes the water fizzy are made of carbon dioxide gas, which is an acid-based reaction. Cornstarch and Epsom salts both act as a liquid absorbers to help keep the baking soda and citric acid from reacting with each other when liquid, liquids are added. Stabilizing the acid and the base and keeping them from reacting with each other before entering the water. These chemicals are inactive when they are dry powders, but when in water they dissolve and the citric acid reacts with the sodium bicarbonate to form sodium citrate and carbon dioxide. The sodium citrate stays in a solution and you don't really notice it, but the carbon dioxide bubbles out as a gas that helps the bath bomb break up. This lets the detergents, perfumes, and oils that make up for the rest of the bath bomb mix in with the bath water. <laughs>